What's up my satires and pre-gag people? I'm Michael Princhek and we're about to start another exciting brand new school year. And if you're taking AP statistics or AP pre-calculus, you might be in the market for a brand new calculator. And I have one just for you. Now I know there's lots of calculators out there that are really great and really cool and all do a lot of things, including the free Desmos calculator on your computer. But listen, I got a calculator that I think blows all of those away. It's going to make your life in AP statistics and AP pre-calculus a lot easier. And the name of that calculator is the NumWorks calculator. Now, there's lots of reasons why the NumWorks calculator is amazing, but I'm going to give you a couple. First, it's completely for free. You can go to their website, numworks.com, link in the description below, and you can get a free emulator, full functional, does everything the actual handheld calculator could do, completely for free online. You could also download an app completely for free for your iPhone or your Android. That is, again, a full functional calculator. It looks just like it. It's awesome. But for the AP exam, you can't use your cell phone. You can't use your computer. You're going to have to have the handheld device. And if you want to order that device, use the link in the description below to get 10% off. But you got to use that link. So please use it to get 10% off of that calculator. Well, you might be wondering, why is the NumWorks calculator so much better? I already have a calculator that does everything just fine. Honestly, I can make a three hour video going over all of the crazy amazing features that truly do make it better. But I just wanna kinda of go over a couple of them right now with you to convince you that this calculator really is better, it's prettier, it's awesome, and it's just so much easier to use. It's gonna make your life in AP statistics or AP pre-calculus really, really easy. And again, don't forget that 10% off link in the description to this video. That way you could get the calculator a little bit cheaper and have a great time with it. But listen, if you want to experiment with the online version or the app for your phone first, go right ahead. But I know you're gonna come back to this video and use that link because you're gonna to wanna to order that handheld video. Now let's take a look at a couple really important features that are gonna help in the beginning of AP pre-calculus or the beginning of AP statistics to kind of prove to you that it really is worth it. But listen, as you progress through the course, whether it's AP Stats or AP Pre-Calc, you're going to find out that this calculator is going to come more and more in handy, making your life on the AP exam in May a lot easier. So let's check out a couple of those features right now. All right, so the first cool thing about the NumWorks calculator is it's got apps. So first off, it has a basic calculation app where you could do your basic calculations, addition, subtraction, all that kind of fun stuff. You go back to the home screen here. Then we have a grapher app where you could actually graph equations. It's pretty cool and really simple to do. And we could even have an equation solver app. Now this is gonna be really, really helpful for say AP pre-calculus or any math class to be honest. But what you can do is you can add an equation. So I already have one added in here, three X squared minus five X plus one equals zero. You could literally type in any equation you want and all you gotta go down and hit to solve the equation. And look how cool it gives answers. And this was a particular quadratic, it gives you the exact answers, five plus or minus radical 13 over six, and it gives the decimal approximations as well. So pretty cool feature. Anytime you want to solve an equation, all you got to do is type it in there and it'll solve it for you. Now for statistics, you're going to love this app. And it's going to come in handy right at the beginning of the school year when you're working with, well, data. So when you go to the statistics app, the first thing you're going to do is enter data in. So you'll kind of see these tabs at the top, data, graph, and stats. So I entered some data in here. And one of the most important things you're going to learn right away in AP statistics is how to make graphical displays of quantitative data. So you can select graph. You could do different types of graphs. We'll go with the most common, which is a histogram. And boom, it makes it for you. It's really, really simple. And you could go under settings here and you could change the bin width, which is how wide each of those bars are. You could change where your X starts at as well. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy to use, very user friendly and really nice and simple to make a cool graph. And you can even change the type of graph in case you're probably gonna learn about box plots as well. And boom, there's a box plot. You could scroll through and see Q1, Q3, the median, um, the min, the max, outliers are even marked there. So it's really, really cool. Then across the top, you can go to the stats tab and this will give you all the statistics you need on the data you entered in. It gives the minimum, the first quartile, the median, third quartile, the max. That's known as the five number summary. Range, interquartile range, mean, standard deviation, variance, sample mean, sample standard deviation. Now, quick explanation on what that is. There, I actually love this about the calculus and stats teacher. So the mean mu and the standard deviation sigma, that's if the data you typed in was a population, like literally all the data from the entire population. Now, if the data you put in was just a sample of data, well, then that's where you're going to use the sample mean X bar and the sample standard deviation S. So some really cool features there, some things that other calculators don't give you, they make you kind of do on your own. It's all here for you really, really nice and simple. 
Uh, we also have a cool app here for regression analysis. This is going to be unit two of AP statistics. So you have some um, data points, right? So you have X's and Y values, inputs and outputs, explanatory and response variables. So I have some data entered in here. These are just data points. So the first thing you want to do here is go to the graph. Then you can actually look at your data. So it looks uh, maybe somewhat linear, but here's some really cool things. It zooms in on it automatically, right? That's what we have on here. It says auto. When you click on auto, it'll automatically zoom on it. You don't have to worry about going to a window and trying to find your data. Then you can navigate through each of those data points if you want. And then you can also run regressions. Check this out. You can do linear regressions, quadratic regressions, cubic regressions, quartic regressions, all the different regressions. And the moment you click on one, let's do an A plus BX. That's what you can use in AP statistics. Boom, it puts it in there for you. And then if you go back to the regression, it'll actually show you the equation of that regression equation. It'll show your R, your R squared. You can create a residual plot. You could predict Y's given X's and you could find X's given Y's. And now I know you might not have learned all this yet, so you might not appreciate it all, but trust me, this is huge. This is awesome. And it's so cool how it's very self-explained as well. And then you can even go up to the stats app as well. Or the stats tab at the top, excuse me. And it'll give you the statistics for all of the data you entered for both the X's and the Y's, means, standard deviations, and all that kind of fun stuff. Now, a couple more things I wanna show you real quick. Now, you're not gonna get into this till much later in AP statistics, but there's an app for distributions. You're gonna be using the binomial distribution and the normal distribution, as well as the chi-squared distribution. And if you scroll down, you'll even see one called Students T. Now, you probably haven't learned about any of those yet, but this is gonna come in so handy when you do learn about those. There's also an app for inferences with tests, significant tests, and conference intervals for all of the different types. So, for example, we look at intervals. We have one proportion, one mean, two proportion, two means. Again, you're not going to learn about this probably until unit five, unit six, but everything you need is there when it comes to doing this. And it's set up so user-friendly that you're absolutely going to love it. So a couple quick things I just wanted to show you there. It's really, really awesome, really, really simple to use. And one more thing I want to show you is the Grapher app. When you click on the Grapher app, the first thing you do is enter in an element or a function. I just typed in a function here, so it's pretty cool. You can actually use function notation with the f of x. Then you could hit plot graph, or you could actually go up to the graph tab, and it automatically finds it for you, and it highlights all the key points. Look at that. So again, all you got to do if it doesn't do this for you is click on that auto tab, but it should automatically always do it. And here's the best part. When you go down to your graph, when you get to, say, a maximum, boom, it automatically clicks on it. You don't have to do any left bound, right bound, guessing in the middle. It'll find it automatically for you. It'll find that y-intercept automatically for you, and it'll even find all the zeros for you. So it's pretty cool that it zooms in. That way you could see all the key aspects of the graph as well. And there's so much more you could do with this. Again, I don't have time to explain all of it in the video, but you could definitely play around with it. There's a calculate tab here when you could do all different kinds of things. You could type in an x value to get a y value. You can even go down to find and where you could find max, min, zeros if you don't see them. You could find x given y. You could find the tangent, the integral. That's more of a calculus level thing. But pretty cool feature in that graph or app. Tons of really cool things you could do. And honestly, I just had the tip of the iceberg for all the awesome features of this. But those are a couple of cool features that are going to make this calculator really, really easy to use in either AP statistics or AP pre-calculus. Well, I hope you like seeing some of those cool features. I really think they are going to make your life in AP Statistics and AP Precalculus easier. You may not realize that right now, the beginning of the school year, but trust me, as the school year progresses, you're going to find out that this calculator is amazing, especially for statistics and precalculus. It's just a really great calculator. So use the link in the description below to order your handheld Gnomeworks calculator and get 10% off. See you later.